Warning, we're about to dive deep into spoiler territory. So if you have not seen Ant-Man yet, go come back and watch this, we'll still be here. We're breaking down 13 Easter eggs and Marvel references you might have missed in the movie. Darren Cross calls rumors of an Ant-Man Tales to Astonish. Fun fact, the original Ant-Man made his debut in the comic Tales to Astonish number 27. Scott Lang is locked up in San Quentin Prison, another anti-hero who's done some time there, Frank Castle, aka The Punisher. After he's released from prison, Scott crashes at the Milgram Hotel, named after longtime Marvel writer, artist, and editor Al Milgram. Mitchell Carson, an old colleague of Hank Pym's, is later revealed to be Hydra. In the comics, Darren Cross runs Cross Technological Enterprises, and we see a model for a revamped Pym tech called Cross Industries. Remember, the Ten Rings kidnapped Tony Stark in Iron Man, and one of the businessmen that visits Pym Tech has a Ten Rings of the Mandarin tattoo on his neck. They're still out there somewhere. Fans were upset to learn Janet Van Dyne, aka The Wasp, had apparently been killed off before the events of Ant-Man, but alas, we see her in full suit in a flashback. And in the mid-credits scene, Hank reveals that he's been working on a prototype Wasp suit for his daughter, Hope. Scott's daughter Cassie is a child in this film, but in the comics, teenage Cassandra develops the same powers as her superhero dad and joins a group called the Young Avengers. When Ant-Man enters the quantum realm, we're treated to an homage to the former Disneyland attraction Adventures Through Inner Space. Another Disney nod, Louise, played by Michael Pena, whistles along to It's a Small World. There are some great Avengers references in this movie, like when Hank says they're busy dropping cities, an obvious callback to Age of Ultron. Oh, and we have to mention when Ant-Man and the Falcon go head-to-head -head at the new Avengers compound. If we're not mistaken, Ant-Man contains the very first reference to Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There is a scene where Louise says, we got guys who jump, we got guys who swing, we got guys who climb up walls. Come on, an obvious reference to Spidey. 